All right, we're gonna jump over here to the motor and start getting the motor but, uh, button back up. Put the valve cover back on and whatnot. So let's see, here's all the stuff we took apart. I'm gonna lay it out here on the towel, find out what screws I'm gonna use. Uh, this stuff I took off the governor and the top plate because we're using a, uh, the aluminum top plate that they carry. Well, I got all this stuff just thrown in here. Anyway, so we're gonna need some of these screws these bolts some of it we'll throw in the box and keep for something else don't need that do need that I don't need the kill switch these are starter bolts all right let me line out what we need here these small ones are gonna be for the starter assembly there's been four of those I do believe all right get the valve cover on it this is all clean Put the gasket back in here. I was able to reuse the gasket since this motor hadn't been ran and it come apart real easy. So probably help if I put it on the right way. Grab an eight millimeter here. Get them all started first, then I'll tighten them up. One more in the bottom. Let me grab the blower housing. We'll put the blower housing and the uh, starter together. And the blower housing's over here. I already ahead and uh, put the assembly back in this so we're good to go on this part. Lay this right here. Let's see, this have been this screw. And we need to put one more to top. Starter. Man, starting to come together. Kill wear out of the way, we're gonna run the, the handlebar mounted kill switch, and I got something I'm gonna plug that up with. But we're gonna put the top engine plate on. Um, 
let's see i'll show you the bag of the hardware they give you the hardware but like i said i'm gonna use a little different hardware and stuff to make things look a little snazzier this is your uh everything that comes in your kit this is going to be your throttle boss i'll show you how this all goes together whenever we hook the throttle up on the bike but i'll go ahead and insert this piece on there um when we hook the cable up i'll get to that point but this actually is going to thread into this piece here we'll tighten this part up pull this piece out because you make sure you don't want to lose the the collar and the little crush sleeve so you make sure and keep those to the side I'm gonna grab a 7 16 Thanks for what this is. Yeah. Get this snugged up on here. All right. You take the throttle rod. This is gonna be, uh, the bottom is gonna be where your throttle rod hooks to, and your linkage is gonna come up through your throttle through the top. So, what I'll do is I'll put this in here first, get it tilted, then I'll roll my throttle back insert the arm into the hole then we can go ahead and mount the plate and just pull this up a little bit now they give you some allen bolts which i'm going to put one of the allen bolts back here in the back and since i'm putting a uh, chrome acorn nuts on the other top i went ahead and uh, i'm going to use their bolts but uh, i'm going to use chrome acorn nuts That way the hardware on the motor kind of fits some of the hardware that's on the bike. And uh, I'm missing one. That's right here. Let's see, I need to get an Allen wrench for this and get all these tight. Let's go ahead and tighten up these two here. I'll tighten this up here in just a second. Um, and this other bolt has a lock nut with it. Let's go ahead and get an Allen wrench. Let's see, it should be this size. Put that right there. Let's go ahead and just tighten this one up so I don't forget about it. This other bolt will go to your bracket which is going to mount right here like so and there's also a hole in here that they put in the top plate so you could take one of your uh, factory springs this spring is pretty stiff that's on here so you're okay now we're back at it got all the bolts tied on the top plate got the rod hooked up um i got this this uh threaded boss part in here we'll tighten it up a little bit more when we get on but in your kit it'll come with another uh allen bolt and a lock nut that is what's going to secure your top bracket so your bolt to go through here snake the the bolt back here on the back side get it started where's my allen wrench get an allen wrench get it started like i said there is a small little hole right inside here so if you want to take uh say you want to take one of your springs that come off your old throttle uh throttle linkage assembly you can also hook that in the back and give it a little extra on your pull but this spring that's in here really returns your throttle mechanism pretty good sometimes i'll put one on there uh but a lot of times i like a nice clean look so like i said this spring returns your throttle pretty good but there is a hole right there if you want to take and uh reach around there and hook your spring into it hook it to the top Put it underneath there you can do that but we're going to go ahead and take a 10 millimeter which is number 10. and get this bracket tightened up then uh but i really like these uh go power sports has the arc top plates which has the same kind of throttle mechanism if you're running a stock style carburetor it'll come with uh you can get them with the same throttle hookup assembly.
All right, let's make sure this is tight. This was a uh, 7 sixteenths. There we go. It's a little crooked. Let's see if we can straighten that up just a hair. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. These are two pieces you make sure you don't want to miss or miss misplace them somewhere but your throttle cable will come in through here go inside and you'll cut the cable down I'll show you how I'll do that then you'll slide the crush sleeve on and that goes right inside just like so so this will actually grab a hold of your cable and then you can adjust it from there and the other clevis pin that comes in it they'll send you this deal here you has an allen screw right inside here so it takes a real small allen wrench you'll need an allen wrench for that but basically you'll feed your cable in come up to whatever notch you're going to put this on you'll insert your carter pin back through and you can also adjust your cable here and on your cape uh, on the cable adjustment so i'm going to sit these to the side in the bag so i don't lose them and when we get to that part of hooking the cable up i'll show you how all that goes on all right i think we're about done here let's see if uh when we get this i'll find the engine bolts and uh so i'm going to go ahead and get the engine mounted in the frame all right, let's uh, put the engine in this rascal and see how much more we can get done. Let's see if we can sit it in here without uh, scratching everything up. I'll sit it kind of close to the back because I'm going to have to slide it to the back anyway. All right, found my hardware bag that they give you to mount your engine. My spacers that I made for uh, the back, which I need to make sure and keep these. So put these back in the bag, put them right there all right you got a bolt and a washer so we're going to put this right through there nut on the bottom i'm just going to put all these loose that way i can still slide and adjust my motor around So we can go around this side, get to these other back two engine bolts. All right, put a nut on this one. All right, let's slide it all the way to the back. All right. Grab a cl chain, clutch. Let's see, we'll go ahead and grab the crank bolt, Allen screws, and the keyway for clutch. Get all this set over here. Don't need that. Got a little red sand and dust on the chain. Let's grab a pair of pliers, find the master link, take this apart. Do that right there. This right here. All right, I'm gonna leave the keyway set screws I'll put that on last we're gonna get there route the chain well sounds like I got to take a telephone break all right sorry about that phone call break all right got that on and we're just gonna kind of leave everything uh, loose till we get everything adjusted um, chain tensioner I'll show you what we're gonna do with that here in just a second I went ahead and started these bolts for the uh, chain guard get them in a little bit so they're not interfering with the clutch that way you can just slide uh roll, slide the washers out and the lock washers slide the clutch in and get in there and tighten it up but we'll ease the chain around the clutch try to keep them scratching everything get on there chain on the back
put this on here just for now and then I'll clip it later just in case I got to take it back off. I don't have to fight with the clip. All right, we're going to put a chain adjuster on it, start getting everything adjusted out and get everything tightened up. Um, they do send you a um, nice chain adjuster. And these are also, I think, will also fit on a lot of the Coleman bikes if you have the factory uh, jack shaft set up. These uh, same steel rollers come on the Coleman's. So I'm going to keep this for another project, but um, I put a lighted wheel on the Moto Vox, and a lot of people seem to like it on the Instagram. So the wife picked me up some. So uh, yeah, we're going to put a little sparkly uh, on this hair bike. So keep that one for another project, but. This one is gonna get a lighted uh, skateboard wheel. So let me mirror, figure out how I uh, mocked all this up. I'm gonna have a flat washer on the outside. Let's see, and then we put a flat washer on the back side. I made a little spacer. Then we put the wheel on. Let's see, another washer on the back. And then we're gonna button it up with a lock washer lock nut I'm just gonna leave that kind of tight that way I can get everything uh, situated where I want it so let's ease this motor forward then I'll usually come back here and I'll make sure and track everything I have the bike up off the ground where the tire rolls that way I can sit here and uh, look down the chain line and see if the chains you know too far to the left if I got to shim the clutch in or out but um, the way they put this kit together, um, basically all you got to do is make sure your motor is straight. Mine's a little crooked. Get the motor straight. And that's, that's pretty much about it. You don't really need a shim or just anything. You just bolt it together. So we'll get that done and then I'll uh, adjust this chain tensioner. So let me go grab some wrenches for that. All right, got the wrenches, uh, get the engine uh, bolts tightened. So we'll do that. Uh, the idler's tightened. Went ahead and put the uh, clip in the chain. Um, before we do all that, let's go ahead and get the clutch boltened up. And another phone call. Hold, please. All right. Let's get back to uh, getting the engine tight, get the keyway in, find out where I'll put that. Get this lined up. Give her a little tap in there. Look at that. All right, got set screws here. I'm going to put these in. Let's see, let's put the short one there and put the long one on the back side. All right, a little extra. Uh, there we go. There's a hole in the bottom for the other one. And I dropped it. There's the hole. Go ahead and put both of them in there. We got them, might as well put them in there, right? All right, get out of there. Clutch bolt. They provide this for you in your kit. So you look for a bag like this and this will have your clutch bolt and washer in it. And if I can get it to open. Look at that. All right, I like put a little, just a small dab of red Loctite on it. Just a little extra, but okay. We need this. <clears throat> this started let's go over here and grab a tin there's my tin all right everything still should look good i'm going to take one more peek at it We'll run the bike and then probably come back and uh, 
retighten everything up, double check bolts anyway. We need to pull this front over just a hair. Go ahead and get these tightened up. Come around this side and we'll get the back two bolts for the engine. Snake down in here. Make sure we get it pretty, pretty tight. Got one more. Motor's tight. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the chain guard and uh, get that bolted down. Okay, I got the clutch uh, guard and the chain guard mounted. Um, you take your, this bolt's pretty easy to get to in the back one, but the one right in the center, you gotta take your, uh, uh, your half inch wrench or whatever and get in there with the box in in between your chain. Uh, that was kind of tricky, so his camera was all over the place. But that's uh, that's how I got in there to get to this back bolt. Um, I'm gonna do this. I cut me a piece of. This is like uh, what usually comes on a carburetor, uh, like your overflow tube. Cut me a couple pieces of this. I'm gonna slice it down the side. That way you can clamp it right over there. It kind of holds it holds it into place, so you don't scratch your paint, your powder coat, whatever you have on your bike. So I just take me a razor blade, slice it open, lay it right up here like so. You can also put you some epoxy or a uh, super glue it if you wanted that way when your frame turns or your forks turn, you're not sitting there tearing the frame up. But anyway, so I got that done. Now we're gonna try and get the tank mounted. So which I've never mounted one of these and I didn't do it in the mock-up because they already have everything here. So we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do it. I did get that powder coated and tank straps powder coated. Um, I'm gonna use some of their hardware. They give you all the hardware in the kit, uh, but I went with the button top because I'm putting uh, some of the, the stainless and chrome acorn nuts on it. So I'm gonna put the acorn nuts on the top and use their uh, nut and bolt and everything, uh, or nut for the bottom. Let me grab the tank, uh, some straps. This is what you get in your uh, your kit here. This is the 10 inch spun aluminum. They've already powder coated it black. Um, here's your vent cap uh, that's black, matches, it goes on top. Um, and your on and off fuel valve that just threads right into the bottom. So you make sure you wanna put you some kind of a, if you use a Teflon tape, there's a different colored Teflon tape that you're supposed to use. I think it's yellow for uh, if you're putting it on gas lines. I actually have some sealer stuff that I put on it. So whatever you have laying around, but I definitely seal that when you go to put that in the bottom of the tank. But we're gonna put that right there for now. Let's put that on last. Let's see if we can't uh, mock all this up and uh, see how it jives. A couple half inch wrenches for the bolts. And a 5 16 nut driver here for the uh, straps they give you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lock washer on my bolt, put it through the strap or your hanger I guess we'll call this a hanger. And it's gonna go through your frame plate on the top that they have welded in, through your top plate. And then I'm gonna throw that nut on the ground, but I'll grab this one. I'm gonna put that on there. Let's see, where did the other nut go? Well, probably underneath the toolbox where everything goes. Well, it's gone. Where'd it go? Ah, found it. Fans blowing stuff everywhere. All right, Butterfingers. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna take the lock washer, put it on the bolt, and how about we put this strap going, or hanger. Let's put this one going this way. 
If it doesn't, uh, doesn't like it, we'll just take it back off. Now I'm going to leave these kind of, uh, I'm just going to barely snug them up. But we turn this and around that way, I guess. Maybe it might be a little bit easier to get to. All right, I'm just going to lightly snug these up. And then we'll put the straps on. Like so. I probably ought to put them on the tank first, huh? Let's put them on the tank first. Just trying to be easy so don't scratch everything up. And this one's actually, probably ought to try and just feed these through maybe. All right, see how that works. All right, we'll just ease this up here through the top. Get the clamp slid over. It's not bad. Soon grab the other one, do the same thing. Just slide the clamp over. Tank. Yeah. All right. We'll just tighten these up. And then go back and get the top nuts after I got the clamps tight, I guess. Snug that up right there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but I'm just basically running the, the strap, uh, your clamps right over the edge of the, the hangers, tank hangers. I'll get all this tightened up, get it where it's uh, looks good, and then I might go back and relocate these clamps a little bit. All right, let's see how this tank looks. Need to roll the tank over some. Back one's too tight. All right, neck looks good right there. Maybe slide it back just a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right, we'll just tighten all this back up. Like I said, I might go back later and readjust these uh, straps. Let me get this one on all the way. All right. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty centered around the hole. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up. See if I can snick a wrench in the back, a half inch, and tighten them from the top. That's a 9 16th. Without scratching it. All right, wipe all the fingerprints off of it. That'll be good. Let's go ahead and put the, find this package will be your uh, vent cap for your tank. Black matches everything. That's a little long. Let's trim it down some. razor blade. How about we just cut it right here? We might need that for uh, something here in just a second. Yeah, that looks good. Cause uh, next we need to pick out, I'll get the sealer. We're gonna put the, the fuel valve in it. <clears throat> I'll seal that up and then we go find some fuel line. And uh, Go Power Sports have multiple colors of fuel line. So I just kind of threw up here on the table what I had laying around. This is uh, some clear, which that's way too big. Uh, we got some yellow. I uh, got a purple color. Got blue. 
Oh, we got red. I really like the red. Red's a little bit bigger size line. Um, let's see. Purple really ain't going to jive with it. I think we're just going to go with red. Since I'm more likely going to be sticking my sticker on the side, this is red. I could put black on it, but I think this will be, this will be just dandy. So we'll come off the valve. We're going to go use the factory spot where they run the line through. But this is the bigger size line, which doesn't seal real good. So this piece that we cut off the vent cap, I might slide over there and then slide this down right over the top of it. A little brake cleaner, trim it off, or I might get some tie gun. I'll probably just get tie gun. This, this wall of this looks kind of thick. Anyway, all right, well, let me go uh, find the sealer that we need for the fuel valve and uh, maybe some tie gun for this piece here. We'll get that fuel system all done. All right, got a little sealer here. This is some Loctite stuff that I'm gonna, that I've used on them. We'll put a little bit on the threads. Don't wanna get crazy with it, just a little light coat. Paper towel. There it is. I think we'll face it right there. All right. Now let's, uh, I'll do my old trick here. I'll take a piece of this real thin, uh, thin wall tie gun, slide it over the, your inlet for your carburetor. That way, if you want to run the big diameter fuel line, it'll take up the difference. You won't have a leak right there. So I'll just take this, spray me a little brake cleaner in there. Makes it slippery. And just work it down on there. Get it down as far as you can. Like so. Then we'll take a razor blade, which I just had, it's hidden right here. Just take a razor blade and I'll cut this off flush right at the top. Just like so. Make sure it's cut where you're not uh, blocking your fuel passage here. And this stuff goes on, their fuel valve's pretty easy, but uh, I'll usually give it a little, little spray, helps it slide on there and it kinda keeps it glued on there if you get it on there all the way. Put that right there. We'll route this down, see where I wanna cut it. I think that looks pretty good right there. Maybe we might have to put a zip tie on that. I don't, I don't think it uh, bother the throttle linkage. All right, so let's just cut it right here. Get a straight cut. Get this here out of the way. Same thing. We're just gonna give this a little spray, a little spray here. Work that down on there. Ugh, pop my throttle linkage out. There we go. Oh, got it in the wrong spot. Now we can put the throttle linkage back on. All right, that looks good. We're about ready to hook all that stuff up, but uh, that's done. These are all tight. I think I like those clamps. I might come back and trim these off. <clears throat> that looks good. All right, let me go find all the stuff for the, the risers, the bolts for the bars, grab the bars, uh, grips, and uh, throttle assembly. Go get all that gathered up, and we'll get the bars put on.